I take refuge How can you say to my soul Flee like a bird To your mountain For behold The wicked bend the bow They have fitted Their arrows through the street To shoot in the dark Well, hello and welcome to today's episode in our series called Songs for the Journey, based on the book of Psalms. Question. In what ways have you noticed your habits changing as you have gotten older? A sure sign to me that I am getting older is that when I am on holiday, I now like to visit church buildings, cathedrals and monasteries. Uh, in 2019, we holidayed in a city called Okrid in North Macedonia, which has 365 churches. I didn't get to all of them, uh, but I did get to one or two and found them to be both pretty and inspiring. But perhaps the most remarkable church I saw in North Macedonia was called St. Michael the Archangel in a village called Radoshta. I may not have pronounced that correctly. Uh, St. Michael the Archangel was a church in a cave up a cliff. Uh, They had clearly not given much thought to disabled access and the seating was rather uncomfortable. However, the views were fabulous and I was impressed to hear how this church had been a literal refuge for the village during times of war. I also loved the symbolism of that. Throughout the history of what we would broadly call Christianity, there have been various saints, monks, nuns and hermits that chose to live very solitary and secluded lifestyles in order to better focus on seeking God. Personally, I am of the view that on the whole, It is not good for man to be alone, and I find it hard to reconcile an isolationist life with what seems to be the very social nature of Jesus. But it also appears that at times Jesus needed the wilderness. And I do think there's a time and a place for taking the time and space to head out into some remote area and do business with God. The first half of Psalm 61 reads, Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you, I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. At times, we all need to find some kind of refuge for the soul. Or, as American house music group De Lacey put it, a hideaway. hideaway. When I studied the life of civil rights leader and pastor, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., what became increasingly obvious to me was the tremendous sense of pressure that he often felt under. Writing on the importance of prayer to her husband, Coretta Scott King said, For my husband, Martin Luther King Jr., prayer was a daily source of courage and strength that gave him the ability to carry on in even the darkest hours of our struggle. Perhaps what some of us could seek to do amidst whatever burdens and battles we face, is to try to carve out that space to head into whatever would be a good and useful wilderness for us, and to find ways and means 
of climbing up into God's cliffside caves. Perhaps in doing so, we might find that God would be a refuge for our soul. God bless and have a good rest of your day. Righteous deeds, the upright shall behold, behold his face. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds, the upright shall. Take